Welcome to Dude RV. You got here just in time. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're gonna talk about a smelly subject. We're gonna talk about the RV tanks and dumping the RV tanks. More specifically, we're gonna be talking about dumping the RV tanks. But, but before you dump the tanks, you gotta, you gotta have stuff in the tank. You're going to be putting stuff in the RV black tank if you're spending any time in your in your rv in your motorhome and it's gonna smell no way around it or is there actually there is and I, I've, I've gone through a host that is right i said a host of rv tank treatments and after exhaustive research i have found that this product right here happy campers is probably the best thing to put in your tank and you don't have to do it every treatment i've, I've been surprised i've gone two to three treatments or i've gone two to three tanks before i actually put the treatment in and we do not have any black tank odor ever we don't have any gray tank odor ever because of the, the happy camper product now this is available on Amazon and I am an Amazon affiliate and if you click the link in the description below or in the card right up there I will earn a, a little bit of money. It helps support the channel and I really appreciate that and I'm telling you you'll appreciate happy camper in your tank. Let's let's talk about dumping the RV tanks. First things first when you're dumping your RV tanks don't use your bare hands that's just gross this is what i use and i found that this is actually the ideal if if so this is the the dump station the dump bay and rather than running around looking for my gloves or remembering to get them out before i roll whatever i, I actually just bought this and i'll have links for these two items below as well but I, this is a, a stick up shelf and these are, in my personal opinion, the best, best, these are the best gloves for dumping the RV tanks. Use them, please. All right, and the next thing is the hose. Now, when you're dumping the RV tanks and, you, and you're in the middle of it, the one thing you don't want to do, you want to avoid this at all costs, and that is to touch your face with the gloves after you touch the hose. Believe it or not, we have seen people do it. Two different dump stations, two totally different people, two totally different states. They were touching the hose and then they were touching their face. What the? Don't do that, that's just gross. I'm gonna need you to handle the camera now. I know. Because we don't want to handle the camera with uh, dump tank stuff. Not only do you not want to touch your face, you don't want to touch your camera. Fortunately, dude, we're at a clean dump station right now because we're at where we're storing our RV. For the RV dump process, you want a good dump hose. And I personally prefer the Rhino line of products. There are a couple of really good ones, but I really like the Rhino because it collapses and expands. It's easy to store and it lasts a long time. I also use a cradle because you wanna make sure you have fall from here all the way down. That way you don't have stuff 
sitting in your hose. With our tank, the way it's, the black tank is configured, when I pull the black tank valve, which is the first one you pull, the yucky gonna put a, one. Hmm? The yucky one. The yucky one. Well, they're they're both yucky. <laughs> but when I pull that, it puts a lot of stuff in that hose real fast, and this will pop out. So we have to make sure we keep a little pressure on that. Sometimes there's rocks, sometimes there's not. We dump the black tank first. And once all of that's out, we dump the gray. And that flushes everything out. What was that? That's some air going back. Oh, okay. Back. I just heard that air. I was like, I haven't heard that before. And so, and you want to close both valves. Uh, at, at most of your public dump stations will have a rinse hose. A lot of your motor homes will have <laughs> a hose specific for... Don't, don't touch that. I'm going to touch this because it's in the dump bay. Okay. And we've got to rinse out the hose, oh, Yappy. Yes, sir. So we're, we're, that's why it's in the dump bay. We don't have to have... Do I need to turn on the water pump? Shouldn't need to. <laughs> we're just going to run a little water in there to completely rinse it out. I'm spraying the disinfectant in there, not bleach, but a disinfectant that'll kill bacteria. We found that just, we have found that bleach will actually break down this hose and make it brittle. All right, then we just gotta clean up and put it away. What you doing? Start the building, I got it. Back up, let me spray that. I'm gonna let you spray it. I'm using a product from that we found from Mela Luca that disinfects but won't damage like bleach will to your your sewer lines and it won't hurt you either. it really it still can be a little caustic but nothing like bleach and the other like the other chemicals that have a lot of real harmful um, items in it so this works really good Sure will. Since I'm not going to be using that box for the sewer anymore. I was wondering why it was in the other one. <laughs> one thing, wait, let me show them something, dude. See those gloves? You definitely want to use gloves when you're pumping diesel, diesel fuel because it's really nasty. That's a video. That's a video for another day. So 
Then the last and final thing that we do when we dump tanks is to sanitize feet. Feet. Okay. And we use hands. Even though he wore gloves, we still want to do that. And with the saw you guard that we get from Melaleuca, it won't destroy your shoes either, but it will kill all the bacteria and protect you from all the lovely things, from all the things on the black tank and the gray tank. Can I tell you how many times we have rolled up to a, a public dump station only to find people rinsing their sewage, just sp spreading their sewage Everywhere. everywhere. Uh, and and a lot of times we don't even stop to dump because there's on. so much raw sewage. But just because you roll up and it's dry doesn't mean that it's sanitary. And if you're gonna be getting into a motor home after dumping your tanks, you really need to sanitize the shoes. Because you're walking it in your RV otherwise. And getting it everywhere. And gas stations, dude. And gas stations. All right, I think that, that pretty well sums up our little dumping the RV tanks video. If you found this to be informative, helpful, fun, and entertaining, please give us a thumbs up and spread that across your social media. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, we'd be very honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, we sure do appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. And for our patrons, you rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?